This has the edges, but fewer tips. Got it! It's got the same edges, the same number of tips, and the same line down the middle. Uh, it's littler. That's because this is a big tree and our sapling is a young tree. That's the one. Now all we have to do is find a seed. Acorns? Are those the seeds? Right. Oak trees grow from acorns. Look. Wow. Sweet. Poor little sapling. Let's try to plant it again. Good Let's idea. Try it. Huh. Yeah. Across the land, if you want to grow a tree, just plant a seed. Watch it grow, watch it grow, change the world when you sow seeds of love and hope. Watch it grow. See the earth, bright and green, bright the air, fresh and clean. Feel the love and hope. Watch it grow. A nice deep hole. Some tape for your trunk. Sticks to hold you up. Lots of soil for your roots. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Pack down uh -huh. for mesh. And lots of water. Looks pretty good. You know what? Maybe that little tree isn't a goner after all. It's kind of the same, but not quite. And it's not shaking its abdomen to make noise. Well, there's this one. It. It's a cicada. It says here that cicadas are the loudest of all insects. Ooh, I'll say. Ooh. <laughs> 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 but why are there so many of them everywhere? And why do they make so much noise? And why did it just suddenly start all at once? It's like they all just showed up at the same time. It says here that cicadas lay their eggs in the branches of trees. When the eggs hatch, they're called nymphs, and they burrow into the ground. Cicada nymphs can live underground for as long as 17 years. That's incredible. Look at this. When the ground gets to the right temperature, it's crawling out. All of the nymphs come out around the same time. So that's why there are so many of them. The nymphs crawl into the trees, and then... Wow! Wow, it's changing. changing! And it's leaving behind an empty shell. Just like the ones we found. But why are they so noisy? I bet they're calling to each other. Right! Trying to find other cicadas. Male cicadas make that noise. It attracts other males and females to the area. All of the males sing together. It says that's called a chorus of cicadas. Lots of cicadas, lots of noise. Good luck, cicada. Make as much noise as you need. Hey, there's another one. They found each other. That's wonderful. But I think we should find another place to camp. Definitely. It's way too noisy around here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Polar bears live way up in the Arctic where there's always snow and ice. Not around here. Also, polar bears are really, really big. They're the biggest bears on Earth. Baby? I guess it could be a baby polar bear, Nash. But it doesn't look right. Let's find some polar bear pictures so we can compare. Here's a polar bear. Uh, they're really different. The polar bear has a long, pointed snout, and the white bear's is much shorter and squarer. Plus, the white bear has a big, round forehead, and the polar bear doesn't. That white bear is not a polar bear. So what is it? Actually, it looks like this bear, the black bear. Yeah, that's a white, black bear? Mind low. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it 
says here that black bears come in different colors. They can be brown or gray or white. The white ones are called Kermode bears. Native Americans call them spirit bears. Why? There's a legend. A long time ago, it was winter all the time, which was hard for the people who lived here. But then it got warmer, and when the other seasons came, spring, summer, and fall, life was much better. Native Americans believed the spirit bear was created to remind people of how hard life was back when it was always snowy and cold. What a great story. What an amazing creature. A white black bear. Mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes.